In this training video from Site Tech Intermountain, I'm going to show you how to upload a design to Earthworks. We're going to use the project library. The designs are already set up inside the project library. In another video, I will show how to do a custom file import. But right off the bat, as our screen has just turned on, we'll go ahead and open up the Cat Grade app because I'm sitting in a 315 Next Gen Caterpillar. Once this comes in and we log on, you'll notice that there's a GNMS error that comes up. That's because I have not set up the base station frequency yet to this machine. So we'll hit OK on that. And in the job setup box, if we go in there, all we have is one test project in here that we used when we first set up the machine to make sure that everything functioned but nothing else is inside here. Once we get to this point, or any point inside of the main dashboard, it doesn't have to necessarily be this screen, we'll go ahead and take our thumb drive. We'll insert it into the thumb drive port at the bottom. When you insert a th uh, thumb drive, it will instantly bring up a screen that asks you, what do you want to do with it, a file transfer? The one that we will show you is just import files to machine from USB. We hit the next button in the bottom right. In here, you've got internal storage and you've got the thumb drive, whatever your thumb drive may be named. You can customize the name of it for your company or yourself if you need to. At this point, you do not need to go and search for anything else. You'll notice that there's a project library along with some other files on here. You do not need to go in and look any further than at this point it automatically knows to pull from the project library in this scenario. So at the very bottom of the screen there, you can see there's a green select. All you do is touch select, and it will look for what's in the project library. Now at this point, you can hit this drop down bar, and you can see I only have one project in here that I've actually wanted to upload. If you have a thumb drive that has multiple projects in the project library, it will show them in a list right here and you don't have to upload everything all at the exact uh, up to a machine that you don't want all those designs on so you can just check the box for the one that you want in this scenario i have just this site tech wheeler training site once i've selected that you hit import it'll import those files some files may take a little bit longer some of them are pretty big i do have a vcl file in here that's got a lot of compact information Once it brings it in and it says files imported, you can either pull the thumb drive out to end the screen or you can hit OK. So I'll hit OK. And here, now as we drop down the pro uh, project drop down bar, now you can see I've got Site Tech Wheeler training site. As soon as I touch that, we're going to leave this mode in design. We'll do other videos for depth and slope and infill, but we'll do design. Measured data, we can leave it on the default data one. Measured data is a folderized system that's going to record any report points that you record or any data inside that. So you can go to the black box and record or create different folders for water valve, sewer, storm drain, anything, existing conditions, anything that you may record, that's what measured data is. But in the designs here, if I drop that down, you'll see that I've got three different designs. I've got Site Tech Southwest Proposed Utilities, which is 3D line work. I've got Site Tech Southwest Finished Grade. And then I've also got this one at the top where it cut off at the very end where it says VCL. But Site Tech Intermountain Southwest Finished Grade. As soon as you're done there, we will actually leave that on the finished grade in the middle. You hit Apply. It will load that design. Now what we're going to do is go into machine setup in this next box and you can see that I've got guidance solution set the machine as dual GNNS. I can set it between GNNS left or right or UTS left or right, universal total station or 2D. In here for the attachments, this is a next gen excavator so the bucket, it shows the name right here of the one that I've got but any bucket attachment changes will be in the cat screen. At this point, go ahead and look up here where it says correction source. In here, I do have a network 20, but that's not the one that I'm running out here. I'm running network 10 in this area. 
So since I don't have it in my list, this is my correction between the machine and the base station. I need to go ahead and hit this black box to the right side right here. And right here, I will need to add one. So I have to hit this advanced button, which will take me into an area called the web interface, which is another program on this device and the EC520 on board. You can see there that it takes us to web interface. As soon as we come in here, it's saying that the request is accepted to go in there, so it's automatically unlocked. Inside here, you can see network 20 is already there. I can edit that one and change it, or I can hit at the bottom here, the add button. So I'm gonna add one and leave that one there. Now in this source, you can change it between internet, IBS, local, network, but we're gonna put it on SNR, the radio that is on this machine. The name, you can give it name, whatever name you would like. But in this scenario, I like to name the name the same network name, so it makes it easier to see on the, uh, the main dashboard screen. So you can see here that we have already had a network 10 in there. On the band, that is what frequency megahertz radio you've got. If you've got a 900 and a 24, like here, that's a dual band. But 900 megahertz is my GPS base station radio. We'll set that to 900. We're going to leave the region at Canada, U.S. pre-2013 for the U.S. here. And network number, that's where you would punch in whatever number you have. In our scenario, we have channel 10. When all this is filled out, you hit save. And if it actually picks up the corrections from the base station, you'll notice on that network 10 box where it says radio 900, it says the status, it's connected. So we are good to go. At the bottom left is this arrow that looks like it's going back to the left. That one will close us out of this. It'll lock it and take us back to the dashboard. We'll log back in again to cat grade. As soon as we're here, We'll go back into the machine setup just to show you that network 10 is in our list here. If you hit that black box to go back in there is just another way to see network 10 and right there it's there. So we'll cancel out. As soon as everything's good here, we got the machine set up, we've got the job set up, we'll have the uh, yellow bar at the bottom here. If that was grayed out and you couldn't touch it, you would look at any of these other boxes to see what's going on. We'll start and it will take us out and we will instantly see our project. We are good to go, no warnings, no errors, and we land right on the project right here. If we zoom out, you'll see the entire site that we're sitting in.